you, is this your first fire in the swamp, no, Harriet? This is my third. Yeah. Art Metal Expo. And you made that? Yeah, I did that for cool. Larry and Gwendolyn. All right. There he is, the frog. So all this. Here were made from about 1840 to about 1865. Oh wow! And they came out with the, the regular squirrel cage everybody sees. With, with, the, with the super one, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> these, these, a lot of these went out west on the covered wagons. Okay. okay. And this is your third year doing this, right? This is our third year, yes. Okay, and uh, so a little bit of background on that. All right, Fire in the Swamp is basically intended to be a, a fire arts show. A, a, everybody that's participating here somehow uses fire in the making of their art farm. Uh, over here we got Kelly who uses fire for her pottery doing the raku. Uh, Hope over here is doing represe work. She uses fire to soften the metal so she can shape it. Chris Marks here is uh, running a forge where he uses fire to heat the metal so it can uh, to soften it so he can forge it with his hammer. Tom is doing that type of work over there as is Chuck. Uh, my other friend Ed up here, he's using fire to soften metal so he can twist it and farm it. Uh, so it's many different forms of fire art and the, the intent uh, is to make aware, make people aware of there's no rocket science here. It's it's really old technology that is still one of the best ways of making art there is to, to, to do. Uh, like Miss Kelly, she, you know, she when she takes her pottery, she starts out with raw clays and, and makes it into vessels and bowls and plates and fires it and makes it hard so that it'll maintain and hold water. Then she uses uh, uses the coatings on it to give it the color and again fires it and, and makes the the, the color just pop and come out, totally changing the color from what color it is whatever before it goes in and what it comes out. So it's all about fire. Later on in the day, uh, some young ladies will be out here that dance and they use fire as, as props here and they're dancing. So is, is the goal here too partly to, uh, to uh, it, get some young people interested in it and, and, and pick up on this and learn some of the skills of trade and so on and so forth? That's that precisely what it's all about is to make people aware of the arts and to get to spark an interest. And if we can get them at a, at a young age, we have some a table going on here where we'll be teaching young people how to cast pewter, melt pewter and cast it into molds that they make themselves. Okay. Uh, so that's what it's really all about is to, to inspire young people and adults also and to learn how to do things that they otherwise either didn't know how or had, had no idea that it was so simple. Okay, so some uh, teaching moments and a lot of fun too. Yes. Okay, thanks. GPAC member, yeah, right? Yeah, he is, and uh, he's a big supporter of GPAC, so we're trying to uh, help him out with his event by being here and doing what we can, and uh, I think it's a wonderful thing to support all the artists in the area in whatever capacity, and I wish, you know, the whole community would realize the talent we have in the area and get out and see some of this and actually support our artists.